So I heard a rumor, and maybe it's true or not. Let's check with you because you know. Um, can you make graphene from honey? Oh, yes, yes. Um, really? Yeah. Um, so if you imagine um, you have what's called a three roll mill. So if I just take my coasters again, you can imagine these are made of highly, these are cylinders of very highly polished stainless steel. And they're probably about this wide, that sort of diameter. Yeah, so fairly heavy things. And they're, they keep turning. If you put the graphite in, then what happens is it gets crunched up and comes out the other side. But it comes out the other side as graphite because you can't sort of tear apart the, um, the plates again. You can't do that exfoliation thing. Turns out that if you add a little bit of honey to the process as the graphite is going through the mills, then what the, uh, the graphite, what the honey does, it grabs hold of the platelets of the graphite. And as it goes through the three roll mill, it, honey has the same surface energy as graphene and it sticks onto these plates and allows them, it pulls them apart. If you think about, if these are sort of glued together, um, with a sort of a, a fairly sticky glue. If I just grabbed hold of them with my hands, my hands would slide off. That's what's happening with the three roll mill and the graphite. But if I had honey, it's like I've got washing up gloves on and I can get a better grip and pull it apart. That's what's going on there. So yes, honey is used to make graphene. Uh...